All good, it seems. Alright, so this is Heritage. Don't know anything about it. I guess it looks like it has something to do with dead people, so new game. Why is that we always yearn childhood memories when we lost someone? Why these memories become painful nightmares when we lost someone? That is how I'm feeling. Yearning those beautiful moments lived in our house, a woman so wise, was in that is only kept in my memory after she passed away three days ago. It's time to abandon these confusing thoughts and return to the place, her house, so full of memories and knowledge, questions. Perhaps I will finally find inner peace. Cool. Press escape to jump intro. To jump intro? Do I press anything else? Okay. We're already inside the game, apparently. Graphic-wise, it's not too great, but I'll give it a go if the game's good. Front door. I just got here. I want to meditate the loss and remember the moments I spent with her. I will accept your meditation. Let's see that clock. An old wooden clock. It seems to be broken. I. You examine the clock. You discover a small piece of metal behind it. It's a key. You take it. So we got ourselves a key. We have ourselves outside. Why are the windows barred? I guess there's nothing to say about that. Dish? Oh, I can take the dish, apparently. I'll take all the dishes. Grandma's note. A note from my grandmother. Should I read it? Yes. I copy the text to my notebook. This is very strange. No need. It's already in my notebook. What's your notebook? Okay, there we go. We have a small bronze key for a jewelry box. A just a simple dish. Just a simple dish. Why do I pick up dishes? Where do I read my notes? Where are my notes? Where is my notebook? Is it N? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's N. Grandma's note. Beloved granddaughter, as you are reading this note, I'm dead by now. Please don't be sad and pay attention to what is written in this note. I had discovered something beyond imagination, indescribable to the senses of your world. I left my will within notes and puzzles that will help you understand. Search the clock for a key. I already got the key. Fucking grandma, always giving me late advice. Anyways, I will pick up the fucking dish. You know, we're just gonna get ourselves and do the dishes. Grandma, what no food you have? Okay, component stereo. If you play a CD and MP3, it has a radio too. Still, I'm not turning that on. <laughs> Come on, be a good sport of phone. Strange, it doesn't work. Okay, I can't duck, but there's a flashlight. And a dish, can't reach it. Well, I would reach it. I can jump. Can I, can I, is C crouch? Yes, he is crouch. I'll take all the dishes. Why am I picking up so many dishes for? Uh, I think I'm stuck. Close these so I can move. No, wait, wait, no, I can't move when I'm crouched. Okay. Cold tree. Forks, spoons, knives. Nothing unusual. Take all the glasses. And all the plates. Yes! Yes! Seriously, why? I just filled up my inventory with nothing but. Ha, drop. Ha! That'll teach that to. Why did they let, let me take those? Do they have any purpose? I take these giant pots. I'm not hungry, nor do I desire to cook anything. I don't cook or read or kettle. Okay, I guess I took a kettle. When she cooked, I could smell a delicious smell of food. Yes, that is usually what you smell when you cook. Hey, look, she has a fucking small ass backyard with an outhouse. A lock prevents me from opening the door. Hey, you know, that was Grandma's... This was Grandma's bathroom key. Use. Can't use it like that. Uh, I'm gonna drop a few more plates, I guess. Drop. Drop that shit. Come on, come on. I, I told... Drop. Okay. Go over here. Drop. Drop. Yes! Go, my plates. Okay, so besides the fact that that's locked for no good reason, I guess I'm gonna open this up. Grandma, why did you look at a picture of a man before you slept every night? Goza frame. Theodore Kaluza. She named him a few times along with Kel or Klein. It has to do with space dimensions. Oh, is Grandma summoning Cthulhu? My grandma summoned out Cthulhu. Okay, Grandma's photograph. Wow. You know, for a grandmother, she looks quite young. 
48th anniversary of marriage? Grandma. No, we gotta leave this. Oh, oh, jewelry box. Hmm, that doesn't interest me, whatever the fuck that is. That was a book. That's nothing. Those are clothes, apparently. And in here. Grandma, you kept your shoes in the closet. That's fancy. I'm opening up all the windows. Getting myself stuck in places I'm not supposed to go. Oh, I saw my feet. I actually have feet. Okay, what's in here? A pretty nice TV. I like to watch it while going to sleep. You know, it, it doesn't look like a... Ooh, you can turn the lights on. Wasting grandma's electricity bill. Ha! Ah, who's gonna pay for that taxpayer's money? Okay, nothing in the bathroom. Open up all the windows. Turning all the lights on. I'm going this way. Turning these lights on too. To really brighten up the place. Washing machine. Unlike other washing machines, this does not make much noise. Grandma's magic touch, I know. Are you gonna answer you on what? Remember the number, Ryan? The 48th anniversary? Yes, I will remember that number. Uh, use? Can you use like use with key? Can you use it like that? Fuck. Uh, they said bill a million dollars. I will bill a million dollars, don't you know? I was kind of engrossed in the game for a second, now looking at the chat a bit more, so I'm like, doop, dropping plates everywhere. Heritage. Heritage, heritage. That's what it is. Chemistry book, physics book. Okay, that's... Grandma was obsessed with how things works. Well, that means you'd be probably pretty disappointed that you can't spell in your mind. I remember and hated these chemistry books. Grandma helped me a lot, a lot studying chemistry for school. Grandma was obsessed with how things work. Uh, Kaluza. I remember Grandma named Kaluza before something about Fifth Dimension. Uh, Einstein books. She always claimed him as the greatest genius of all time. I'm just going to put this to hopefully a shoddy English speaker or translation. I'm making a mess all over Grandma's house. She can enjoy it later. Wait, she's dead. Intriguing title, The Mystery of the Atom. Though the mystery is actually misspelled. That's supposed to be mystery as in another word, but... Setgeist. Zeltis, or Celtigeist, the book. It's about conspiracies. Four volumes about world history. Six volumes in total. I guess these volumes explains our minds. Boring. Books I had never heard of. Some books about Buddhism religion. Really interesting books about the universe. You know, I think we have our interest in mind. Okay, we're gonna open both doors at once. What? What? What, the, what happened? I was opening doors. And then a ring noise plays all around. What the? I picked up a bin? Light on. Um, I did indeed pick up a bin. Why am I carrying the bin? I was gonna ask you that, Missy. Okay, open this. Nothing in Grandma's good old closet. Nothing, nothing. There's something here. Laptop battery. So if I find a laptop, I'll know. I'll know. Fucking spazzing out on chairs and all that. At least I can step inside a bed. Now, where did Grandma keep a laptop? She was that high tech thing, I guess. She does. Seems like she was quite into the sciences. I think I should turn these lights on. Yay, lights! Ryan, I'm thinking about doing Killing Floor Fridays. Oh, if you want to do Killing Floor Fridays, I would love to hop onto you with that, Mr. Ian. I do love me some Killing Floor. Well, sometimes I would love to. Alright, there's nothing much around here. We have towels. Can I pick up towels? You seem to be able to pick up everything else. Okay, so the only thing that sticks out, the only thing that sticks out is the outhouse in the back of our house. That probably leads to some really crazy shit I'm imagining. Huh? Oh. It's a puzzle? Huh? Leave? What? Okay. Okay. For some reason, Grandma really wanted this outhouse to be secret or the shed. So it means that we need to figure out the combination of numbers. Is it 48? 
I tried using the key on the box earlier, but it didn't work earlier. I also tried saying use with this. Oh, now it opened. You open the jewelry box with a small bronze key. You found a note inside. Clicking to close, okay. So it's probably an N notes, right? Jewelry box note. Look at the clock. Hour will tell you the row number from below to above, then minutes, what not, what, uh, what book to read from left to right. Remember on the shelf to the right. Ah, it's one of these puzzles. I hate these sort of puzzles, but I'm gonna give it my best shot because look at the clock. Hour will tell you the row number from below. Okay, I'll look at you in a second, Grandma's note. We got a clock puzzle to figure out. So here's the clock. It's set at uh, four five. Which we look at our note about the instructions. Look at the clock. Hour will tell you the row number from below and above and minutes what book to read from left to right. So hour will tell you the row number from below to above. So it's row number four from, from so it's like row number four up from the bottom and number, okay, and minutes what book to read from left to right. So then from left to right, there's nothing else here. That's cool. On the shelf to the right in the first floor, shelf to the right, so right shelf, Okay, but that wasn't the first floor. Okay, so minutes is five minutes, so it's book number five to the left. Fuck you, Grandma, I'm making these weird, complicated puzzles. So it's book number five to the left on the first floor, and it's the right shelf. I'm putting right down myself some notes. All right, so the shelf to the right, I think it, she means upstairs. That wasn't the first floor, it's the second floor. But there were numbers on those shelves, I guess. So, the shelf to the right, be on shelf number four. One, two, three, four, five, this book. This appears to be the correct book. I copied and marked the text on my notebook. Physics book. A point in space wouldn't cast any shadow that than a line with cast a simple dot. A line would be the shadow of the square. Notice how a 3D object reflects a 2D shadow. Actually, that's not completely true. A shadow casts more than one shadow. It's not actually a 2D image. It is adjacent, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, lastly, we can imagine the shadow of a 4D object, 5D counting time as being, being a, three, trying to imply a shadow from a four dimensional whatever. Uh, never mind. I'm not gonna question. The rest of the text is struck and it is a margin question mark is drawn. Huh. What is this supposed to do for me? Which means we're probably going to so my brain's going to explode. <laughs> probably. I don't get it. How the hell does this make me figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do with this puzzle over here anyway? It's just a giant thing over here. So we have a door. Is it like, what, 3D? But there's like five characters here. Okay, we're gonna leave that for a second. We could switch games if we get too confused, but we're gonna see if we can get past this for the moment being, because we've been switching games a lot tonight. Let's see, so Grandma's Note. What was copying physics books helping? Is there anything else inside a jewelry box? There's nothing else here, cool. I guess we're going back up. So what do you guys think I'm supposed to do with the knowledge of what this physics book is trying to teach me? Physics book. A point in space one casting a shadow, then a line will cast a simple dot. A line would be the shadow of the square. Notice how a 3D object reflects a 2D shadow, so a line makes a dot. A 3D object makes a 2D object. A 4D object makes a 3D object. 5D counting time as main dimensions. So the rest of the text is stuck, and in the margin is a question mark is drawn. Well, I mean, I get it, but what must just do it with this knowledge? It tells you the combo for the lock? Really? I, I wouldn't have guessed this, because the combo looks really big over here. Okay, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to examine this lock. What do all these do? We have an X, a line. 11 shapes, okay. So I'm guessing it's part of this puzzle. So a line, 
would cast a shadow of a dot. A 3D object will cast a 2D shadow. Try. That didn't work. Okay, let's read. Okay, I kind of get the puzzle now. Let's look at the physics books again. A point in space, so it's first a point, wouldn't cast any shadow. So it's a dot, then a line. A line would be the shadow of a square, so it's dot, line, square, 3D object. Okay, let's take a look see here for a second. So it's dot. Or maybe, it, I think it starts off with nothing. Nothing, dot, line, square, 3D. I solved it, yay. Okay, hey, let's now go in here. Grandma, See, well, who would have thought she would be so defensively hiding her mower and her hammer? Okay. Take those? What the fuck am I supposed to do with these? And I go to my inventory. Dem uh, demolition hammer. It's big and heavy. Okay, Grandma, I'm not gonna question. I'm gonna throw this out of my inventory. Get the fuck out of my inventory. You fucking drop you. Keep my flashlight. Keep the battery. Keep drop a glass. Drop a plate. Yay! Look at all that shit fall down. Okay, so now that we have a mower and am I supposed to mow grass? Is that what I'm doing? No, no, ground, put, put, put that down me. Put that, there we go. Use. There's a hidden basement, oh. Well, luckily, I guess I knew what I was doing. Cool. So we're going to the hidden. <sighs> Let's go hammering time somewhere. I love games that have puzzles like this, don't you guys? It really livens up your atmosphere, so... More clutter in the backyard. Smash it in. I guess we could smash it in. Let's fucking hammer this thing in, I guess. Use! Can't use it like that. Fuck. Smash the bricks. There are bricks? Oh yeah, you're right! There was the area in the house that had the bricks. Okay, I'm gonna go do that now. Probably for grandma's fucking secret devious thing she did at night. I mean, guess that did kind of stick out. Hmm, this wall wasn't here the last time I visited my grandmother. Alright, it's hammering time and yada yada use. This should work. Yay. Hypercube and a dimension link. In the fifth dimension, time is received the same way that in the fourth as in the fourth dimension. That discards the possibility of identities that can be reflected in the future, but it is right to think they can see our past as reflections. Although there is no way to, uh, they can enter in them, just in our present. There's uh, Also, there's no doubt they can see through objects, or in other words, they can see each side from an object without even rotating. There's some typos here, whatever. The only thing they need to come here is concentrated energy, so they can visualize a point in space-time and reflect themselves. Obviously, the entity must be in close distance to perceive the energy that will serve as Link. This will help understand better. Seriously, all these dimensional theories and my grandmother couldn't write. Pfft. Leave that. Alright, I'll take your hypercube, which is another puzzle. Oh boy. I'm leaving you alone. Now what's up here? I'll open up the windows like I do every time. The attic. Cardboard box. Come on, look at. Why is the. Never mind. I'm trying to observe you. Nothing you have to say about that? Old wooden frames. How about this over here? Turn on? Sure. Oh, it's part of a puzzle. And the whispering. There's nothing I can do with this, so. Obviously, I need to fucking remember what this is. I'll duck down for a second. Crouch. Okay, so it's one, two, three. what? Who? I think I kind of get it. This is for the basement, right? The hidden basement that was inside our lawn. 
So we have one with two, three, draw it. Maybe, but I don't have a pen nearby me, but this probably would be the smartest idea. But let's see, I kind of get it. So middle to the two, to the three, to the four, and then the bottom one. So if we have one, so it's the left one, then the right one, then the middle one, and then the top one, and then the bottom one, I get it. So it's left, right, middle, top, bottom. 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 I have to remember it like that. Left, right, middle, top, bottom. Come on, keep it in my mind. Can I jump down here? Whee! Left, right, middle, top, bottom. Alright, let's see how this goes. Go over this way. Left, right, middle, top, bottom. Try. That work. Left, right, middle, top, bottom. I solved it! Woo, I'm a magician. Again here. Oh, 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 okay. Guess we're going down here. Oh crap! Wow, I feel tall. Oh, let's get down here. Go down there. Go down there, go down there me. Go, go, go. go. Like to, well, where's the option? Climb down, climb down. Come on, climb down. There we go. Look at this intensive climbing ability, Grandma. You really didn't take care of your. Th help! Help! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Up. Okay. Climb down. I'll try to get the ladder option again. Huh. Huh. Climb down more. Climb down more. Ah. 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 Okay. Get me down there. Get me down there. Stop encasing me in this, I'm stuck. The Lara's claiming me. Close the door when you after you get down. Let me try opening and closing this again. Close. Open. Maybe it's because I'm standing on that. Climbing down, please don't trap me this time. Ah, I can't get through. Close the door. Uh, I can't close the door. It's impossible. It's, it's, uh, uh, they're hating me like a fucking pinata. I want to check out Grandma's TV. Crouch. Uh, I almost feel like I've touched the ground. Oh, there we go. Oh! Crouching solved everything! You're over exaggerating, that was a little, just a slightly jump scare. Okay, let's see, open... Chemical bottle, some strange compounds. I guess ground wasn't all that strange compound shit. Nothing... Some empty drawers, okay, medical tools. Uh, stethoscope, some syringes, octoscope, nothing I can use. Okay, what's in the last one? Or if you'll even tell. Oh, medical paperwork. Some analysis results. Hilographs to me. Ha ha ha. Funny. What? What is happening here? Was she experimenting with my? No, can't be. Advanced medical equipment. I wouldn't be able to understand it. Probably on the account that you cannot spell or read. Okay. So we have our periodic table, which probably is part of a puzzle, because they let me look at it. Experiment phase one. What? I copied it to my notebook. Okay, let's read the button. Yeah. Weight loss. When brain died, energy sensors activate instantly after brain's death. Energy disappeared in exactly 666 milliseconds. Oh, that's so spooky. Energy measurement. 666 kilowatts. I get it, cause 666 is an evil number. Now let me use this over here. No, yeah, yeah. Use. Enter your password. Two digits, last anniversary together. 
Okay, which is 48, so that would be 12, two digits from number FE. Leave. All right, I'm not an expert on the periodic table, so let's take a look see here. It's been a long time since I've done chemistry. FE. There's FM. I better do a more organized way of looking rather than just scanning it quickly. Okay. I'm scanning it from left to right. There's FE. And I should have noticed because it was marked by 3 and 4. So it's 3 and 4, I get it. Number 26, my lucky number. Let me try it like this. 12. It could be a few different things. Try. That didn't work. It's the number of iron, I get it. So it's that. It's been a long time to use the periodic table, so apologize. 4, 8, 2, 6, but it's supposed to be the two numbers added together, so it's not 2, 6. I mean, I, I used to be really good at chemistry, and that's the bad thing, but the problem is I haven't taken a chemistry class in like six years. So, so this is all me using my very foggy memory of it. 48. Well, no, 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 it's not 48, because, uh, see, it says two digits last anniversary together. Because I thought I would put them together, but maybe you're right, maybe you're right. Let me... How do I... Okay, let's try this. 48, 26, try... Oh, pff, I thought I meant put 4 and 8 together to make 12, so shh. It's clear now. Uh, 26 is my lucky number, I should have known that anyways. It's clear now. Comparing the results in the university laboratory, there's no doubt. I have proof. I send the video and the audio file. I hope to reach or re 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 receive. It's supposed to be receive and answer soon, but it says receive, so. I have made contact with my husband and entity. We're part of him. I actually have discovered the fifth dimension and solved lots of questions. Ghost? No. It's just a reflection of a part of the entire in entity. Of course, I will need to do some more research. As for now, I'm not able to understand entity difficulty to pass through our dimension. I could measure the energy produced with when he died, and I could prove how that energy disappears into the next dimension. I'm just ignoring typos here. All these years of sacrifice. Finally, I can talk to him again, see him, feel him. The ultimate question is solved. Life after death. Affirmative. So I guess you really loved his husband. Oh, hi, Jason. I close this text document. Jason, before, I just want to say this while you're here. I'm extremely pissed off because they have to delay my shipment of my headphones and Dead Space 3. They were supposed to come tomorrow finally, but I'm like, ah, but I wouldn't blame you if you started playing the game. I, I want to do this. I played so with you. Anyways, though, uh, so that's cool. Text document. Three, I try. I solved it. Well, that's magic. Nice to know I'm a magician. So what what am I supposed to do with this information? I mean, sure, I get story, but what what is this doing for me? What am I supposed to do now? Thank you, Jason, for waiting. As I said, in the downtime of this, though, where are we supposed to mess with? I mean, it's clear now. I, is there something here that I'm supposed to know to continue? There's one more puzzle with a cube that I haven't figured out. Is there anything else around here that I'm supposed to use? Equipment, hospital bed, nope. Am I supposed to... Wait, can I close it from in here? Haha! -ha! I have trapped myself in your basement, Grandma. I'm, I'm, I think we're almost done with the game, maybe? So I'm just like, huh. Anyone have it? Okay. Someone who's played this game or know about this game can tell me this. Is there something I'm supposed to do here besides look at this? Is there anything I'm supposed to try and do? There's going to be much I can do. Leave. Hi, Keychan, but... I guess I'll climb up. Climbing myself back up. Okay, cool. There's only one more puzzle which I haven't solved yet. Hit your computer monitor if it no, doesn't work. Should I hit the computer monitor over there? Do I have anything in my inventory? Of love making coffee in this red kettle. Well, that's very indescriptive. So the last puzzle I can think of, which I haven't solved, is up here. Is there a way to run in this game? Nope. Do the broken... Oh, okay! <laughs> that made me jump. I wasn't expecting it. It was a really cheesy, stupid jump scare, but... <laughs> Funny. Funny. And now all is dark and stormy. All right, hypercube puzzle, which I don't quite understand. We're going up here. 
Do I have a flashlight? Yeah, I do have a flashlight. Let me use that. Use. Can't use it like that. It's not the F key either. I can't see shit up here. Let's see. Turn off? I guess it wasn't on. Well, that is on. I'll leave it on, because why not? That means we're going back down. Don't plug it back until the lag goes away. Uh, I'll leave the doors open, but it's all... Oh, actually it was only in there the power... No, no, the power's gone out everywhere. It's just the house happens to be very bright. It doesn't look very scary. Oh, oh. Huh. That made me jump too. How do I turn my fucking flashlight on? I just got here. You don't want me to take the last one. The house is obviously going full on possessed. Okay. How, how do you turn the flashlight on? I have a flashlight right here. Am I supposed to use with what? The batteries are in the attic in the box? Okay. The attic is right here, so let's go up here. Old stuff. Maybe there's something useful here. Bingo, I found that. Thank you. Thank you for the hell with that. Use with flashlight. Okay. Thank you. This is gonna make this so much easier. Flashlight is on. Though this is a very crappy flashlight, but you know, better than nothing. Holy hell, that says gonna help. Wait, is there something there? Steel ball. You can open these? I looked very intently at these earlier. Dimension scheme. Okay. In the fifth dimension, they can see all and through lower dimensions. Are they able to see our past or even the future? Dimension 3, 2, blah, 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 blah. The circle of our divisible dimensions in time as we grasp it is logically correct. I think that a fifth dimension object can reflect its shadow in our dimension. Cool, we'll leave that, I guess. Nothing else here. Is there anything here? Hmm, it needs a key. Okay. What was this metal ball I got? A steel ball. Number three is engraved. Guess this has to do with this puzzle. Oh, the steel ball goes to this. Probably, maybe. Let me give it a shot. Oh, like here. I see. Use. No one needs a key. So that went to slot three, so I'm supposed to find two others? Uh, boy, but where the hell am I supposed to look for two others? Get up, we're hunting. Hunting we will go. For metal balls of hope. Oh no, hunting now. For metal balls we go. Hey, no. Nope, no, no over there. We need our balls of steel. Let's see. There's that, there's this, there's the hypercube. So I swear I've been everywhere though, so where a metal ball is gonna pop out of nowhere now all of a sudden? There's nothing more I'm supposed to be looking for. I'm finding a whole lot of nothing. So that chair isn't gonna spin around too? Well, that's a shame. I'm gonna save my game, by the way, to make sure I don't get fucking stuck again. Let's go down here. Throwing plates. Washing machine. You always were kind of quiet without making much noise. So maybe you're hiding something. Or not. Maybe just a regular washing machine. I guess that's a possibility, too. Grandma, why'd you make your house so simply complicated? Making everything super obvious. Yet, yeah, fucking not obvious. I blame my grandma for world... My, why do you have two toilets? I didn't notice that earlier. One of them looks like they're broken. Is there some puzzle with the toilets that I haven't quite figured out? One of the last areas I can think of that I haven't thoroughly explored. Probably the basement, though, because I haven't done anything in the basement.
Oh yeah, you're right. That jump scare did cause a steel ball to roll out. So there, there's two steel balls. Because then this did the fucking splits or whatever. One of them is a urinal. That's not a urinal. I know what urinals are. There we go. There. So, one less. I'm gonna go back to the basement because it's the last thing I haven't really explored since the house went all haunted. You spooky. Oh, those were the dishes I dropped earlier. First thing I thought I was like, oh, is that some? Nope. Just the stuff I had earlier. Okay, time to go down to the basement. Now that I can actually see the ladder. There you go. Crouch. Stand up, because that apparently solves all my issues. Steel ball. Where are you? Uh, looks like a butt washer. It could be a butt washer. Is this game Japanese? You know, those actually do exist, so it wouldn't surprise me if that was actually it. Is there anything stepping above me? That's where I'm hearing something. Probably just my imagination. That's what you're supposed to tell yourself. Leave. Okay. Last steel ball. Where, oh, where is the last steel ball? Where, oh, where could it be? Okay, so we have two steel balls, we need one more. We think they hopped out of jump- there was a jump scare upstairs, maybe the ball dropped there. I guess that maybe the balls dropped out of jump scares, I guess- even though our character's female, so I don't know if that makes sense. I was gonna make a joke, but I'm gonna drop that now. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Where, where is one of those metal orbs? I got the second one, so I go back upstairs, I guess, and drop it off. Dude, let's see. Awesome. Let's go sit over here for a second. Okay, this one has number two engraved. We will use. Okay, so we got two iron balls. What are we looking for? Learning new stuff every day. We should almost be done with this game on the bright side. If we can just find the last iron orb thing to do, it'll be fine. The problem is they're so small. And I'm not even sure what triggers them, because they apparently jump scares. Hypercube. I don't know. Hypercube makes me think of the film Cube, but it's because there was a hypercube in that film. <laughs> Where did Granny leave her balls this time? I don't know. All the puns before this is done. You think the last one's in the cube? Sounds like a distinct possibility. What's the clue to solving the cube? I'll look at you again, but I haven't figured out anything. Try. Try. I mean, it would make sense it was in here, but what is the clue to solving this thing? I haven't figured anything out. Seems like Ram guessing, guessing what not here. So, if someone knows this, check the toilet or something. I'll check the toilets. It's better than what I'm doing right now. The fifth dimension paper. Did I put that in my notes? No, I did not. Okay, let's go look at the fifth dimension paper. Did I hear something? Ah, uh, most of just been the wind. Okay. So let's try and use this for a clue. That was the solution to get to the basement that we figured out. This, I can't find any clues for. It's like there's nothing. Is it this? In the fifth dimension, time is received by the same way that the fourth dimension. This seems like it might take forever. The answer wasn't provided. But the discards the possibility of entities can reflect on the future, but it all blah blah blah, not the limits. Past, present, okay. Wrap your mind around dimensions, kids. That's how you solve the hypercube puzzle. Uh, I wonder if a lightning bolt stands for anything. A wild venom appeared. I don't know, we can start. Okay. 
Uh, what's up, Mr. Nallet? Did you think of something? I'm still thinking. Look at the bottom left picture. This. Past to present. So I see, because there's lightning bolts, a circle and a square. Okay, I see. So... It was in the order circle, lightning bolt, center of square. Okay, I see. Lightning bolt, circle, one of the squares. That didn't work, let's try the other square. That didn't... Is that another order? Present, cubes, lightning bolt, circle. Hmm. Let's see. Reverse that. Let's try the reverse. Let's try circle, lightning bolt, square. And work. Try. Nope. Not too much, but. Lightning bolt, square, circle, other square, no, cube, circle, cube, circle, lightning bolt, other square, huh, there's no circle involved, but there's a circle over there. No circle involved. That just leads three shapes, which means there's nine possible combinations. So let's try everything in between: cube to cube, cube to cube to lightning, cube to cube to lightning. Oh, I solved it. Okay, we got it by guessing. We did it. Open that up. Steel ball. I'll take that. Thank you. Save my game in case anything happens. All right, back up we go. I'm gonna do that. Was a weird. To be honest, that wasn't a very. I don't really like that puzzle. Not just because we were stuck at it, but because the answer is very, very unclear to the point that's coming. Uh, it would have made more sense with the lightning ball diagram thing. Anyways, let's use this. Cool. Strange lock. Okay, let's look at this now. Another puzzle. That's exactly what I was hoping for. More puzzles? Don't mind if I do, but not that I dislike puzzles. Oh, let me just read this. Alright. Alright. The circle of our visible dimensions in time as we grasp it is logically correct to think that fifth dimension object reflects its shadow on our dimension. There's a jump scare and though. No, 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 this isn't the puzzle solution. This is for down. We, we've already taken advantage, maybe? You can make a reference to it. Maybe because it's the same shape. Maybe it's like a double puzzle thing. This is the same shape over here. She probably died making these puzzles. It makes sense to me. She overstrained herself thinking, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make these puzzles for my granddaughter. Strange lock. Maybe if I guess, I'll eventually get a try. Oh! Oh, I won! <laughs> well, that's pretty lucky. I guess it makes sense to put them all up. Okay, let's go back. Now it's going to tell us to turn around, right? I'm going to save my game right now. So I think I know what's about to happen. Because this is the last thing, so it probably means we're about to die when it says turn around. Hmm, it needs a key. Oh, that was easy. Rusty key. Use this. Heritage, some kind of legacy. I know there's gonna be a jump scare. Already copied. All right, let's look at our notebook. Heritage. Now you know what I found. The link between our dimensions 
a dimension in theirs is in our mind. All notes and puzzles surely helped you understand, and now you are ready. This is the legacy I left for you. This is your opportunity to elevate to another level, as your grandfather did to me. I'll do it to you. Look behind you. Bye, Grandma. Yay! Press escape if you don't care who made this game. No, there's nothing more after the credits. <laughs> I even told you. Jump scare a booga 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 boo. That's okay. I wonder what happened if I dodged it. Probably nothing. Yay, we beat Heritage. So that was Heritage. We'll move on to the next game in just a second. Ah! Stretching, stretching. <laughs> And they all lived happily ever after in the fifth dimension. <laughs> the end. Good analogy there, time struck. I was taking a sip before we move on to the next game. Anyways, that was Heritage. Okay, I'm going to stop and start the stream for YouTube purposes, then we're going to move on to the next game.